All right, we've got a question here, which is, is it okay to hate someone? And, uh, you know, I think it's, it's really interesting because the teaching of the Bible goes really against any, any other religion in the world and, and really against all of our common sense, which says, you know, if somebody has wronged us, if somebody has, um, you know, tried to hurt us, then it's okay for us to hate them. It's okay for us to, to feel badly about them. But the Bible says that we should pray for our enemies, pray for those who persecute you. And Jesus has some really strong words about hatred. He says, you know, essentially, if you hate your brother, you have murdered him in your heart. And so um, the Bible says we, we cannot hold on to hate. We must forgive. Um, Jesus also said, if you, if you do not forgive your brother, your heavenly father will not forgive you. And so unforgiveness and hatred is, is a sin. It's something that we need to, to give over to God. But it's, it's just like any other sin in that it's something that, that God can heal us of. It's something that God can redeem us of. He can sanctify us and take, take it away from us. And sometimes that can be really hard to, to believe because, um, you know, somebody has done something really, truly horrible to us. Um, but we see, we see throughout history some unbelievable examples of forgiveness. And, um, and just the, the healing that that brings is really powerful. And so I would just encourage you, if you are struggling with hatred of somebody, um, to, to give that to God and to say, Lord, help me to, to forgive, help me to, to love this person. Even if you don't fully trust them, um, nowhere in the Bible does it say that you have to trust somebody who has wronged you. Um, you can continue to, to have a caution around somebody that has hurt you, but, um, but, but God will help you to love them.